everyone let us discuss this leibniz rule it's very interesting result so we are going to discuss its proof also okay so what it says if f small f is a continuous function on a closed interval a b and u and v be any differentiable functions as you can see here these are limits of that integration okay and you are taking derivative then its value will be f of v of x that means what we do actually i am telling you so let derivative integration will get cancelled we put t is equal to v of x and we take derivative of v with respect to x minus after that we put a lower limit at a place of t and we take derivative of u with respect to x so this thing we have to prove so let us start with a given information what we have we have f is continuous on closed interval a b we are going to take anti derivative of f small f huh? let capital f b anti derivative of small f anti derivative means exactly opposite to the derivative or you can say the integration okay so therefore what we get integration of f dash of x is equal to small f of x for all x belongs to closed interval a b since it is a anti derivative so that's why f is a derivative of capital f and capital f is anti derivative of small f okay so this is the relation between them so then therefore by second fundamental theorem of calculus second fundamental theorem of calculus i hope all of you still remember the result that integration u of x v of x f of t dt is equal to see integration of small f is capital f so what we do first we put upper limit minus we put lower limit so by second fundamental theorem of calculus says this is capital f of v of x minus capital f of u of x since it, capital f is integration of small f so that that's why directly we put upper limit minus we put lower limit after that we are going to take derivative of both sides since as you can see here we have to take derivative getting the same integral we have here let us take derivative of both sides differentiating with respect to x so let us take derivative what will we get here derivative of integration u of x v of x f of t dt right is equal to minus sign is there so we can take separate separate derivatives derivative of f of x sorry f of v of x right f of v of x minus derivative of f of u of x right see derivative so normally we take derivative no so what we write we simply write dash so this is equal to f dash of v of x and by chain rule again derivative of v with respect to x getting the point since f is a function of v and v is a function of x so that's why we have to use chain rule derivative of outer function after that again derivative of inner function so the same thing i will do for the second bracket getting so what will i get derivative of capital f i will write f dash of u of x and again i supposed to write derivative of u with respect to x but as you know capital f dash is nothing but small f so therefore we can write it as f of v of x since capital f dash is nothing but small f and dv by dx minus here also i can do the same f of u of x du by dx i think we have got what we want yes this thing we have got so in this way we completed the proof okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye